Mixed methods is an increasingly popular approach to research. In this video I will explain what mixed methods is and what it is not, as well as go through some most common mixed methods designs. I'm Jarek from Qualitative Researcher and my goal is to help you develop and conduct research that will make an impact. So if you are new to this channel and like this content, consider subscribing as well as exploring my website for additional resources. So firstly, what is mixed methods research? A mixed methods study is one that combines qualitative and quantitative data in order to, and this is important, answer the same research questions. So you're not collecting qualitative uh, data in order to answer one research question and quantitative data in order to answer another. You're combining both qualitative and quantitative data. They are supposed to complement each other and help you answer the same research question. There are a number of scenarios and decisions that will ultimately determine what kind of mixed methods research you will be conducting. So, for example, you can have a fixed or emergent mixed method design. A fixed method design is when you uh, decide from the very beginning that you will be mixing methods, so you'll be using both quantitative and qualitative data. And an emergent design is uh, when you decide, for example, in the process of uh, qualitative data collection and analysis, you decide that you'd like to add a quantitative strand to your study. Once you have decided to mix methods, you need to decide what priority to assign to your quantitative or qualitative strands. So you can have a qualitative priority or quantitative priority or an equal priority. So this will mean that your study may be, for example, predominantly qualitative with an additional uh, quantitative component or the other way around. Or alternatively, you can have an equal priority where both uh, quantitative and qualitative strands are given equal weight, equal priority. Another decision is about the timing of mixing methods. So it can be a concurrent design when you're collecting and analyzing your qualitative and quantitative uh, data at the same time. It can be a sequential design where qualitative uh, data collection is followed by quantitative data collection or the other way around. Or it can be a multi-phase design where you have several phases, uh, stages of your study uh, that include uh, a concurrent or sequential design. I will go into much more detail of how to choose a given design and also how to make all these different decisions when you're preparing for uh, conducting a mixed methods study in the future videos in this mini-series on mixed methods research. But uh, for now it's important to know that these initial decisions will uh, determine what kind of general mixed methods design you choose. And there are a lot of designs to choose from. So basically there are almost 40 different designs for mixed methods research, but there are three most common designs. And these three usually cover and include uh, a number of these detailed and specific designs. And these most common designs are explanatory, exploratory and a convergent mixed methods design. An explanatory design is one in which you start with quantitative data collection and then you follow it up with qualitative data collection. So for example you may start with a quantitative questionnaire and then uh, when you analyze the data and you perhaps find a surprising or interesting uh, finding or trend you decide to develop a qualitative uh, method, so for example an interview, and explore these trends or these findings in more depth. So in this process you first collect and analyze your quantitative data, then you collect and analyze your qualitative data separately, and then you're comparing the results. So in the final stage where uh, you're interpreting the data, you are mixing these uh, different data sets, these different findings from the two data sets. An exploratory design is the opposite of the explanatory design. So you start with collecting and analyzing your qualitative data first. Then, uh, once you have analyzed your qualitative data, you may use it to inform your quantitative uh, study design. So, for example, based on, your, uh, on the results of the analysis of your interviews, you may develop a questionnaire. And again, uh, once you have uh, collected your questionnaire data, you are analyzing that quantitative data separately from 
your uh, qualitative data which you have already analyzed but then in the final stage when you're interpreting the results you are uh, mixing that together and finally in the convergent design you're collecting your quantitative and qualitative data at the same time you are merging the results and you're comparing these results and now that you know what mixed methods research is it's also important to explain what it is not so firstly it is not mixed methods research if you are triangulating your data collection methods but all of them are either qualitative or quantitative and secondly it is not mixed methods research if you have your qualitative and quantitative data but you're keeping it separately so you're reporting on it separately or you're using uh, your qualitative and quantitative data to answer separate research questions. In this case again it's not really what mixed methods research is about. I hope you enjoyed this video and as I said in the future videos in this mini series I will go into detail of each of these major designs so explanatory, exploratory and convergent designs. I will also talk about uh, other decisions uh, when mixing methods so the timing and a number of other decisions. So basically how to decide uh, how to go about conducting a mix a method study. If you have any questions feel free to post them in the comments and I will respond to every single one of these questions.